Every second of every day, somewhere on the planet, it's snowing. For those who love skiing and riding, these storms offer endless possibilities. Once you get hooked, you're hooked for life. It's a real rush. Each winter, the world's top athletes explore the furthest reaches of the planet in search of the steepest mountains and the deepest snow. Once you drop in, it's a 2,000 foot vertical line. These are big mountains and there's big consequences. to the Himalayas, from the half pipe to the heli drop. This is an all access journey to the best of the best in skiing and riding. This is your season pass. I'm Johnny Mosley. In this episode of Season Pass, we'll journey to some incredible ski destinations located where you'd least expect to find them. From Asia to Europe to the Middle East, these are the hidden gems and ski experiences that will change your perspective on what a typical day on the mountain can be. Must be noon. Yep. Sounds like it's right next to us. But uh, this is an uh, amazing thing about Japan. When you're skiing at an Olympic level, the sport brings you to amazing places with tons of snow and incredible mountains. The only catch is you can't ski any of it. Sort of like how the sport introduces you to amazing people who would be super fun to ski with, except you can only ski against them. I've come to Tokyo, the world's most populous city, to meet up with an old friend. He's promised me some of the best conditions I'll get all season, which is hard to believe when you're immersed in the tall buildings and neon lights of this vibrant city, and only one hour away from the snowy peaks of the Hakuba Valley. I first met Takahiro Sakamoto at the 1998 Nagano Winter Olympic Games. He's invited me back to make some turns in the Hakuba Valley, an area that hosts 10 ski resorts that you've probably never heard of, let alone be able to pronounce. Just to be able to kind of soak up the full experience of, of skiing and, and hanging out in the village and not going to the weight room right after skiing, but maybe going back and throwing back a couple sakes at the bar. Um, it's more than just, you know, um, figuring out the best possible way to get through the moguls. <laughs> to be able to hang out with uh, Takahiro and get to ski with him outside of competition, not against him, has been great. Together, drinking, skiing, jumping. <laughs> Very old friend, good guy. start asking him questions about how he got into skiing and all these things I've wanted to know for years. And you know, you find out that he pretty much taught himself how to ski by watching others. I love to watch the way he interprets the train, especially outside of the mobile course. Go ahead and watch that 
here in Japan with him where he's a hero and spend a couple days in a relaxed environment, uh, skiing powder with him, jumping cliffs. That's just been incredible. Coming up on Season Pass, beating the heat in the Middle East. But up next, you can go home again. I'm from Norway, but I've never been here. I've never seen this. 